Hello and welcome to the Racing Mama. The 2022 season of iRacing is upon us and in season one I'm going to be trying my hand at four different series. I'll be competing in the BMW M4 GT4, the USF 2000, doing some oval racing and some late models, and doing the dirt limited late models as well. Super excited for this season and what it has to hold. So, with that said, here we are at South Boston Speedway in the late model. Now, I've never driven this car in a race before. I did about 30, 40 practice laps in the session prior, so I decided not to qualify again. So, we're starting at the back of the pack. Once we get rolling here, I'm really just looking to get eased into the flow of the race, keep it clean and not make any mistakes. Let's throw it into turbo mode here. Nothing like a good pace lap. Get ready, going green. Hide car is off. Green flag, green flag. And here we are going to green for the first time in a late model. And <laughs> first corner, first lap, first race, first incident. What a start. I'm sure that guy turned across the front of me there, but you can let me know in the comments below. Download. Looks like some trouble up ahead. Got a smoker. There's a little dirty party. Inside. Sorry about that man, you bounced off the wall there. I didn't mean to hit you. Got a nice apology. We're still pretty early in this run, but I feel like I got Got the pace advantage on this 15 car ahead of me. Got to figure out where to make a move and how to get to the inside. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not. Oh, hey. And oh man, rear view mirror. That, that looked close. Just uh, cut it down pit lane and not the start that we wanted to our late model career. So we get back up to speed here. We're definitely not in contention in this race, so it's really just going to be Getting some practice time in, seat time in the late model. Try to stay out of everybody's way. As we fly through turbo mode here, just trying to stay out of the leader's way, let everyone go through. You know, trying to make a good impression of the late model division. Got this guy behind me who's on my lap, so this is for position. Actually, that's the guy who I saw spinning into my rearview mirror earlier, so maybe we can have a nice little battle here. So I'm just ripping through these laps because it's uh, pretty repetitive. You can let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see it at normal speed. But I caught up to the 15 car who caused me trouble earlier, but I guess he was just moving out of the way too. Let me buy. Now my objective for the rest of the race was sort of increase my, increase the gap to the guy behind me and keep it clean and see if we can catch up to the, to the guy in front. No. 
Tak będzie. As the lap started to wind down, I could see the leader was getting closer and closer, but he had a pretty big gap to second place. And I notice here that the gap to 10th place for position was slowing down, so I really did not want to let the leader by. I wanted to have an opportunity to maybe get that 10th place. If he passes me, puts me another lap down, then I can't catch up to this guy, so I kind of kind of blocked him. If, if he was in a tight battle, I would have gotten out of his way and let him go. Uh, but in this case, I had to look out for myself. So on the last lap, looks like we're going in slow motion here. Make it to the line and couldn't quite close that gap. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the happenings here. Well, looks like I got in a little deep with uh, kind of cold tires and just lost the back end. Did not want to go back onto the service and oh! Was that guy reacting to me? I think I gotta take another look at that. Get out of your pylon. Alright, so this is the view from the 9 car coming in and he... Oh no, he just got a loose all on his own. And then, oh, yikes, that was closer than it needed to be. Good on him on this rejoin, though. Well, that was my first foray into late model racing. Hopefully it gets better from there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time.